أصحاب المعالي والسعادة ضيوفنا الكرام الفريق الإداري رؤساء المجالس المشاركين والمندوبين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته يشرفنا نحن أمن الجنير ونور بن فلاح أن نرحب بكم جميعا في الحفل الختامي السنوي لإنموذج الأمم المتحدة لمدرسة بيان البحرين الخامس عشر التابع لثايمن Over the past two days, delegates have been working effortlessly within their councils to achieve solutions to worldwide issues. In today's world, media has become a human necessity and a fundamental element in societies, playing a huge role in information, education, entertainment, and more. Delegates have worked hard in their councils, discussing issues surrounding the media and its global implications, coming up with successful resolutions after hours of debating. The theme of this year's conference is of great importance to the future endeavors undertaken while working towards achieving the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal of 2030. <laughs> كما نود أن نتقدم بجزيل الشكر والتقدير للدكتورة شيخة مي بن سيمان العتيبي رئيس مجلس أمناء مدرسة بيان البحرين لدعمها المستمر في كل ما قامت به من أجل جعل هذا المؤتمر ممكنا وناجحا We would also like to thank our Bayman Director Mr. Midhat Marabi for giving his full attention to the administrative team around the clock This conference would not have been possible without his constant support also, we would like to thank our Secretary General, Hussein Ahmed, for his endless ambition and determination to make this conference as memorable as possible, as demonstrated by his actions before and during this conference. كما نود أن نشكر مساعد الأمين العام شيخ الماجد ونواب الأمين العام محمد محمود علي الجشي وزين الرئيس على عملهم الجماعي ودعمهم طوال فترة تنظيم هذا المؤتمر ونحن ممتنون لجهودهم المبذولة. We would also like to extend our gratitude and thanks to our silver sponsor, Bin Faqih Real Estate Investment Company, and our bronze sponsor, Kumon Institute. Their support is greatly appreciated. And now, it is our honor to welcome our Bahrain Bayan School Director of Academic Affairs and Bayman Director, Mr. Midhat Marabi, to give his speech. Assalamu alaikum. Good evening, Your Excellencies, esteemed guests, administrators, faculty, staff, and participants. Welcome to the 15th annual Bayman Thayman Affiliated Conference Concluding Ceremony. I would like to, to take this opportunity to thank Her Excellency Sheikh Haya bint Rashid Al Khalifa, Chairperson of the Bahrain Chamber of Dispute resolution for her patronage for our annual Bayman conference for the last seven years. Dr. Sheikh Hamay bint Sulaiman al utaybi chairperson of the Board of Trustees at Bahrain Bayan School, for her continuous support to the Bayman community. Our silver sponsors, Bin Faqih Real Estate Investment Company, our bronze sponsor, Kumon Institute, and all the participants and the attendees for their valuable contributions and diligent work to ensure this event is a success. Over the past few decades, decades, the way we communicate as a global population has shifted abruptly. This was heightened by the latest pandemic. But as we overcome challenges, we gain invaluable development. Media is one of the things that was massively influenced by these shifts. However, it has always remained a dominant part of communication. Let us take a second to consider the importance of communication. It's, it is essential, as it has the ability to create and destroy. But this, MUN, but this MUN conference has focused on its ability to create, as everything you have witnessed with, within these two days has been a result of collaboration and constant communication. Two years ago, Dr. Sheikh Hamay bint Sulaiman al utaybi had the vision of expanding payment beyond the Kingdom of Bahrain. The pandemic delayed this dream, but never stopped it. Since last March, we, have, we were constantly researching and 
preparing to make this, vi this vision come to life. Geneva was picked as our destination as it represents the essence of the United Nations in Europe and it is one of the four major offices of the United Nations where numerous different UN agencies have a joint presence. The trip was a, the trip was a once in a lifetime opportunity where our students gained an amazing experience delivering speeches at the U UN headquarters in Geneva and opened their eyes in, into global mindedness that they truly reflected the Bahrain Bayan School graduate profile. I would like to extend our sincere thanks to, his, to Her Excellency Dr. Jalila bint al Sayyid Jawad Hassan, Minister of Health, His Excellency the Bahrain Ambassador in Geneva, Dr. Yusuf Bushiri, and his assistant, Mrs. Sana Burasi, Professor Jan Paulson, Mrs. Marik Paulson, and Mr. Imad Lblushi, and Journey Adventures for their help in making this dream come true. To our Secretary General, I have observed you throughout the years since you joined Bayan, and I knew that one day you will be one of our school leaders. Thank you for making our conference fantastic. Thank you for showing others that they can also be leaders, and thank you for being phenomenal despite the pressure that you have been through. With every early morning and late night message you sent, you always apologized for disrupting. Rest assured that you have never disrupted me at all and that I was happy with every message you sent as it told me how dedicated you are. Hussein Ahmed, you did a great job. <laughs> to the Bayman team, to the Bayman team, I can't be more proud. The endless hours you spent in preparation for this concert, uh, conference were remarkable. My admiration and appreciation for all of you are endless. Once more, Bahrain Bayan School Departments proved that we are all one strong, coherent team. Finally, I thank you once again for making Bayman 15 an impressively successful event. Thank you, Mr. Midhat, for your expressive words. كجزء من سعينا لرفع اسم مملكتنا الغالية عالمياً، قد قام الفريق الإداري برحلة إلى جنيف سويسرا. فاختصاراً للوقت، سعنا عرض لكم موجزاً عن أبرز وأهم محطات هذه الرحلة المثمرة. I would describe our admin team's experience as a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to expand our boundaries and learn in ways that were never done before by an MUN team. This experience was something completely new for the MUN scene in Bahrain, and I hope that the entire nation is inspired by our efforts and hard work in organizing this event. We discussed it through our meeting with Dr. Ren, the Secretary of the Health Department for the Health Department. For the illness and other illness, the most important things in the health department. حيث نوه الدكتور رن على أهمية التغيير الجذري لنمط الأنظمة الصحية حول العالم حيث أكد على أهمية الاستثمار في التكنولوجيا لتقديم خدمات الرعاية الصحية وتأسيس نظام صحي متقدم كما تم مناقشة هذه القضايا في مؤتمرنا هذا والقيام بحلول مبتكرة لهذه القضايا التي أتينا بها وسيتم العودة بها لمنظمة الصحة العالمية First of all, I'd like to sincerely thank Mr. Khalid Al-Amr, Chairperson of the World Trade Organization Committee for having us, as our discussion entirely impacted our views on the issues that we'll be presenting to our delegates. The issues discussed in Geneva at the World Economic Forum was addressing interventionism and petroleum price and digital storing of national information. Our priority in Bayman is our delegates, and due to that, we work hand in hand with the Council's team that work tirelessly to incorporate their views within our councils to enhance the accuracy and the gravity of the issues at hand. Thanks to Mr. Khalid, we are able to deepen our understanding of the issues and no doubt that played as a backbone and a foundation to shaping and improving the issues of the council. I hope that the delegates would benefit from our discussions in Geneva as we aim to help them as best as we can. During the meeting at the World Health Organization, important issues related to the health system around the world were discussed. And these problems were raised in this conference to see what solutions young teams can come up with. 
the solutions will be communicated again to Dr. Ren and the organization to help them in their future plans. The most important thing is that the Safir is a conversation with the Safir and the Safir is a conversation with the Safir and the Safir is a conversation with the Safir. We also have a conversation with the United States. وأهمية تحقيق أهداف التنمية المستدامة وكما أنه تيحت لنا الفرصة للسؤال عن أعمال السفارة ومقر الأمم المتحدة. In terms of preparation, our admin team had met with the chairperson of the board of trustees, Dr. Sheikh Hamid bin Sulaiman Al Atabi, and Bahrain Bayan School's academic director, Mr. Midhat Marabi, who is also the Bayman director. Our vision and plans would not have been possible without the help and support of these two individuals, who gifted us with the ability to explore modern United Nations in new and innovative ways. تجربة بيمن من جنيف. هي تجربة حصرية فريدة من نوعها استطعنا من خلالها أن نتعاون مع الأمم المتحدة بشكل مباشر ومستمر لترتيب هذه اللقاءات حيث قمنا بتوثيق كل لحظة من التجربة من خلال مواقع التواصل الاجتماعي لمؤتمرنا عملنا على هذه التجربة لعشرة شهور متواصلة حيث قمنا بتنسيق الأسئلة حيث قام الفريق التنسيقي بدعم الأستاذ مرحة مرعبي بوضع الأساس لهذه التجربة وتحديد الأشخاص الذين يود مقابلتهم كما نتقدم بجزيل الشكر والامتنان لمعالي الشيخة الدكتورة مي بن سليمان العتيبي رئيس مجلس أمناء مدرسة بيان البحرين الذين استمد منها ومن خلال العمل معها روح العزيمة والإصرار وروح الابتكار فشكرا لجهودها الحثيثة ومتابعتها المستمرة التي كانت أساسا لتحقيق ونجاح هذه التجربة One of the questions asked to Mr. Khalid was how to replicate an actual discussion or debate in the World Economic Forum within our council in the conference in order for our delegates to attain a realistic experience within it. The Bayman team strives to involve all we learned and discussed and reflect that upon our conference. The most important thing that was discussed with Dr. Ren is establishing a critical advanced healthy system base in each country and ensure that technology is assistive in the sector to ensure efficiency of providing health care. We have also discussed the campaigns and initiatives that the World Health Organization launched during the onset of the COVID pandemic to promote mental health and well-being and how effective they were on people around the world. And now, we would like to welcome the chairs of a few selected councils who were chosen based on the issues discussed in Geneva. After a few years of a living in a pandemic, we were able to overcome many obstacles and are still determined to do more. Can we please welcome the chairs of the World Health Organizations, Rawan Haqiqi and Jude Hashemi? Good evening. We are the chairs of the WHO World Health Organization Council, and we have come up here to explain to you our issues. Okay, the very first issue was the lack of assistive technology. So assistive technology is used to describe products or systems that support and assist individuals with disabilities or impairments to perform everyday functions. For example, crutches, braille, hearing aids, and etc. The visually impaired, as an example, encounter a series of challenging tasks in their daily, daily lives that are not easy to, that are easy to the majority. Okay, uh, for example, crossing the road, scrolling through Twitter, purchasing products online, and so many more things. Very simple tasks. Uh, for this issue, we talked a lot about assistive technology on roads, for example, and how in some countries Braille is used on, at crosswalks to help the visually impaired. Moreover, the main issue was a lack of it towards the ne those in need of it. We focus on how to increase the production through funding companies focusing and focusing biotech lectures not only on the production of such assistive technologies, but also how to gain access to it and the overall raising of awareness in schools and universities. Thank you. The second, the second issue that was discussed in our council was mental health in an urbanized world. 
In an urbanized world, mental health issues are continuing to increase. Issues like stress, depression, and anxiety are caused in urbanized places because of many things such as the environment. Since many people face these issues in today's world, the delegates of the World Health Organization Council discuss different ways mental health issues can be solved in different areas around the world. Thank you. Also, I would like to add, uh, we also talked about the reason why mental health issues um, should be discussed and should be solved is because, of, for example, um, Recidivism, if you are not aware, it means those convicts who convict the same crime over after their sentence due to mental health. So in Norwegian prisons, because Nor Norway has a very low crime rate, we talked about it a lot during our debate. So in Norway, crime rates are low because Norwegian prisons offer rehabil rehabilitation in order to tackle th this issue. So thank you. بعد رحلتنا رغبنا أن نجمد مجلس مبتكر هيكليا لمناقشة التحول في الاقتصاد العالمي فليتفضل رؤساء المنتدى الاقتصادي العالمي نورا الكواري ومريم بوتشيري Good evening, esteemed guests, admin, and delegates. I'm Noor al Kawari. And I'm Maryam Bouchire. And we are the chairs of the World Economic Forum for this year's ba Bayman Conference. It has been a delightful experience cheering for such enthusiastic delegates who are passionate to solve major world economic problems. During the course of this conference, we have witnessed a council of passionate delegates debate on the global economic issues impacting our world today. For the first issue, delegates tackled the problem of the shortage of primary commodities and resolved it by posing financial and political solutions to ensure the sustainable urge of the usage of the commodities by political bodies and corporations. For the second issue, delegates represented companies and nations to resolve the dilemma of digitalization in today's age. Delegates became aware of the importance and fragility of handling, managing, and using data while debating about the ethics and concerns of the collection of data by, by their respective represented bodies. The delegates put themselves in the shoes of powerful authorities, exposing them to the accountabilities and responsibilities of the read world. With the hardships encountered by the delegates, the lessons learned outweighed them. Thank you. Thank you. As part of our Thymond tradition, please welcome the chairs of the United States House of Representatives, Vera Vida Varma and Mohamed Ramehe. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mohamed Ramehe. And I'm Veda Varma, and we are the Chief Justices of the U.S. Supreme Court. As United States House of Representatives, we would like to announce the verdict of Donald Trump's impeachment. The U.S. Supreme Court finds Donald Trump guilty. guilty. Thank you. مواكبة مع الحدث العالمي وتزامنا مع اقتراب موعد انطلاق كأس العالم نود أن نرحب برؤساء مجلس فيفا جوديا أبو عيشة ومريم الكواري Esteemed guests Admin team and delegates I'm Mariam al -Kawari. And I'm Judy Abaishi. And we are the FIFA Council Chairpersons. We would like to thank Bayman for providing us with the finest caliber of professional debate and discussion. The World Cup bidding procedure has been discussed in this council, along with the question of whether it is the best method for choosing the World Cup's 
location. The second issue discussed in our council focuses on how young people prior prioritize athletic training and knowledge at the expense of a diverse range of athletic experiences. Delegates were offered a fantastic opportunity to interact with one another uh, in a positive and intellectually stimulating atmosphere to speak for or against issues that may not be of their liking but for their betterment of the desi their designed countries. Finally, we would like to thank Bayman for this memorable and lovely experience. Thank you. And now for the moment we've all been waiting for, the presentation of the Best Delegates Awards. Please help me welcome back Mr. Midhat Mirabi and the high school principal, Mr. Medjil Haj, to the stage. United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, UNHCR. Minatala Ali. World Economic Forum. World Economic Forum. Zoya Ahmed. United Nations Human Rights Council, UNHRC. Ala Barawi. Social, Cultural, and Humanitarian Committee, Sochim. Ahmed Abdullah. <laughs> United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund, UNICEF. Janot Kwaitan. United Nations Economic and Social Council, ECOSOC. Abdurrahman Labedi.
International Telecommunication Union, ITU. Aya Ahmed. United Nations, United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization, UNESCO. Laura Suede. World Health Organization. Fahad Kabroy. Defense for Children International. Talia Maalla. World Intellectual Property Organization. Abdul Karim Jalud. United States House of Representatives. Abdullah Khalaq. <laughs> International Federation of Automobiles, FIA. International Federation of Automobiles, FIA. Muhammad Al Ali. International Federation for Chess. International Chess Federation, FIDE. Faisal Khalifa. FIFA Jawahar Abdul Al
Thank you to all of the delegates for your hard work and participation in this conference. أما الآن فنرحب بالأمين العام حسين أحمد للقاء خطابه الختامي بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Good evening esteemed guests, family members, faculty and participants it is a great pleasure to have you all attend the concluding ceremony of the 15th annual Thaimin Affiliated Bahrain Beyond School Modern United Nations Conference. This conference occurs annually due to the support and patronage of Her Excellency Sheikh Sheikh Haya bin Rashid Al Khalifa, Chairperson of the Board of Trustee of the Chairperson for the Chamber for Dispute Resolution. Thank you for giving us the ability to carry out our vision for this spectacular event, and of course. We are forever grateful to the educator and leader who aspires to continue to make Bayan an outstanding educational institution equipped with innovation, creativity, and development. Addictor Sheikh Hamay bin Sleiman Al Atebi, Chairperson of the Board of Trustees. Thank you for always supporting us and ensuring we have all the resources to achieve our dreams. And I would like to reiterate your message as it is an inspiration to me. And I quote, حين يكون تطوير ثقافة يصبح التميز إدمانا ويصبح الإنجاز متعة لا تضاهيها متعة. Throughout our conference, delegates have been able to reflect and absorb the idea that the future is clearer through the, through the lens of peace. Peace is our ultimate goal, and media is simply a means of achieving that goal. Regardless of the forms it has or may take, we, as a global and open-minded community, can change the narrative and make sure our voices are heard by utilizing the power of media. This is exactly what I have witnessed in the past few days as delegates have shown their dedication and drive to solve global issues through their debates and resolutions. You have shown us all how bright the future is as we can achieve anything we put our minds to as young and resilient individuals. This conference was unique not only because of the important issues and theme it highlighted, but also because, for the first time ever in Bahrain's modern United Nations history, students were able to travel to UN offices in Geneva and meet with UN officials to receive direct feedback from these officials in order to improve the issues and, count and counsel to be discussed and debated in the conference. MUN has meant so much to me in the past few years. I have grown and changed as a person because of the opportunities I have received, the people I have met, and the challenges I have faced. MUN has given me the ability to explore real-life pressing issues, and it gave me the confidence to stand in front of you all today delivering this speech, feeling resilient, accomplished, and proud. The journey here was not easy, but I am proud to say that I pushed and persevered through it all. I had always hoped to be in the Bayman Advent team ever since my first MUN experience at Bayman XII. But I never imagined that I would achieve this all as Secretary General in the span of a few short years. To all the first time delegates in the audience, you too can achieve great things if you believe in yourself. Never let self-doubt become a barrier between you and your dreams. And join as many MUN conferences as you can to learn about the power you have as the youth of this generation to change the world. Our beloved Kingdom of Bahrain is a pioneer in addressing sustainability by ensuring the correct steps are taken to achieve the 2030 goals. So be part of this initiative. You are our hope and you are the future. I'd like to take a moment to thank my parents and brother for always being there for me in the toughest of times and inspiring me to be the best version of myself. You have truly shaped the person I am today. An MUN conference always has a strong group of individuals who work behind the scenes to make it happen. Teamwork, respect, and responsibility are the core values that the Bayman family hold dear to their hearts. I can wholeheartedly say that every individual behind Bayman was a perfect example of each of these attributes. Sudan al-Awadi and Zain al-Hashimi, Bayman XIV alumni, 
my mentors. I could not have done this without your constant support and encouragement. Thank you for being more than friends and thank you for being family. To Mr. Midhat Mar'abi, thank you for standing by my side through every high and low and never giving up on me. I am so thankful to have you as my guide in this journey. Thank you to Mr. Majdi Al-Haj, Ms. Lata Richardson, Ms. Rahmoud Hujeri, and Ms. Mina Namadi, and all the teachers for your patience and for always being there to help when I need you. Your support truly means the world to me. To my USC, Sheikh Al Majid, and DSUs, Ayel Jishi, Hamad Mahmoud, and, and Zain Al Rayas, you have made me proud. Witnessing you all grow and become the leaders you are today has been a great pleasure. Thank you to the Bayman XV admin team. I am so proud to say that I had the privilege of working with you, every single one of you. You showed everyone what teamwork is like, and you were outstanding in every possible way. Every challenge, conflict, success, mistake, and achievement got us here, and I would not change a single moment of it. To the chairpersons, runners, press members, and delegates, thank you for joining us and showing so much love for and appreciation for Model United Nations. I wish you all the absolute best and hope that Bayman XV has influenced you positively in any way, shape, or form. And now, for the moment everyone has been anticipating, it, has, it is my great honor to now present to you the concluding video for the Bayman XV conference.
فرحبوا معي بمعالي الشيخة هيا بنت راشد آل خليفة للقاء كلمتها جميعا يسرني ان التقي بكم في هذا اللقاء السنوي الجميل كل عام اشكر الشيخه مي بنت بنت محمد الاتيبي واشكركم جميعا على الحضور واشكر الطلبه على هذا البرنامج الرائع الذي قاموا به عن قرب للتعرف على الامم المتحده في من خلال زيارتهم الى جنيف مثل ما طلعنا عليها الان لا اريد ان اطيل عليكم ولكن اريد ان يعني اعطيكم ما يعني بعض التطورات التي حصلت في داخل الامم المتحده بشان يعني كما تعرفون الامم المتحده يعني يعني تاسست عقب الحرب بعد الحرب العالميه الثانيه وداخل الامم المتحده في الجمعيه العامه وفي مجلس الامن وكما تعرفون تكوين الجمعيه العامه الجمعيه العامه تكون من جميع دول العالم اللي هي الان 193 دوله ومجلس ومجلس سكيورتي كونسل اللي هو مجلس الامن يتكون من خمس دول بي فايف اللي هم اللي عندهم حق الفيتو وعشر دول هم يعني اللي تنتخبون كل سنتين من يعني ايام من 15 سنه عندما كنت موجوده كانوا يعني كان في برنامج هو في برنامج سنوي يعني في يعني في كل سنه يكون حق في في الجمعيه العامه من ضمنها اصلاح مجلس الامن اصلاح الجمعيه العامه من 15 سنه كان في عملنا تقرير عن كيف يريد ان يرى العالم المجلس الامن كيف نحب نشوف مجلس امن جديد من ضمن من ضمن الامور اللي اللي اقترحوها الدول فيما يتعلق في امور مهمه بالنسبه حق الاداره اداره اداره في مجلس الامن مثل حق الفيتو مثل عدد الاعضاء مثل يعني تقييد حق الفيتو او القائه من ضمنها يعني الدول حطت بعض الاقتراحات اللي يعني تقيد من حق الفيتو تمنع تمنع حق الفيتو تماما اذا يعني ما وافقوا على هذه الفكره او ان هم يعطون دول اكثر حق لان يعني الان بس احنا الخمس الدول اللي هي الصين والولايات المتحدة وبريطانيا وفرنسا والصين والأمم وروسيا وروسيا الخاصة كانوا يأخرون 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 الأصلاحات ما يعني ما ما خذوا بالقرار اللي أخذت الجمعية العامة في آخر 2007 والقرار كان الانتقال من مرحلة التفاوض بين المندوبين الدائمين إلى حوار اللي يسمونه intergovernmental negotiation بين الدول بين السفراء الدول من 2007 هذا العام بعد الأحداث اللي صارت في روسيا وبعد الفيتو الروسي على على الإدانة لروسيا في الحرب أوكرانيا لأن مجلس الأمن وقفوا يعني عملت روسيا فيتو ووقفت القرار فراحوا للجمعية العامة الجمعية العامة يعني وافقت على قرار أو أدبتد القرار الخاص بإدانة روسيا وبإدانة تصرف روسيا فيما يتعلق بدخول إلى أوكرانيا 
فالعالم الان اتفقوا الان في من خلال يمكن شهرين او ثلاثه عملوا ان هم راح يناقشون فعليا يناقشون فعليا في الجمعيه العامه موضوع التقرير اللي تقدم حق الجمعيه العامه ووافقوا عليه 2007 الان عملوا لجنه لدراسه هذه فهذه راح يكون في يمكن تطور يعني او شيء يعني يمكن تطور عقب 15 سنه ويمكن عقب 15 سنه بيصير تطور ثاني بس شوفوا شلون يعني ال يعني التاخير وشلون الدول الكبرى تمنع اي يعني تغيير يحد من سلطتها ويقلص او يعطي دول اخرى اكثر سلطه اكثر من اللي الان يعطيها لها الميثاق. طبعا احنا في في الامم المتحده احنا يمكن ما نشوف تاثير التاثير اللي تقوم فيه الامم المتحده في العالم. من ناحية السياسية يعني يمكن يكون تأثير أقل من الناحية الإنسانية بس من ناحية الإنسانية الأمم المتحدة تقوم بدور رائع من خلال دعم أو إعطاء الدول مساعدات للدول الفقيرة في في أفريقيا وفي في أمريكا الجنوبية في الهند فيعني الأمم المتحدة يعني تقوم بأعمال إنسانية يعني مؤثرة في العالم غير عن الـ 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 الأعمال أو غير عن تصرفات اللي مثلا السياسية مثلا الآن في أوكرانيا وفي مع روسيا أوكرانيا ما يعني ما في شيء عملي قوي على الأرض طبعا في دول مثل الدول اللي اللي إحنا نسميها الجي فور اللي هي الدول اللي تحب ان هي تحصل على بوزيشن اكبر في في مجلس الامن مثل اليابان اليابان اللي هي ثاني اكبر داعم لميزانيه الامم المتحده المانيا اللي هي الثالث داعم لميزانيه الامم المتحده اللي هي البرازيل اللي هي خامس اكبر يعني مساحة دولة في العالم والهند اللي هي ثاني أكثر عدد سكان في العالم هذا لين الأربع دول هما يعني يسمونها مسوين مجموعة اسمها الجي فور اللي هي تحب إن هي تكون عندها بوزيشن دائم في مجلس الأمن طبعا الحديث عن الأمم المتحدة يطول لكن يعني الـ 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 يعني فهم الامم فهم السيستم الداخلي للامم المتحده مهم جدا وما تقوم به هذه المدرسه مع الطلبه ان هم يتعرفون على ما يدور داخل الامم المتحده فعليا هذا راح يعطيهم تجربه يعني جميله وممكن هم يكملون عليها وصراحه بكل فخر دكتوره شفمي انا هالمره شفت احد طلبتكم هو الان دبلوماسي في سفاره البحرين في في نيويورك في في المكتب الدائم فانا اشكركم على الحضور واشكركم على الدعوه واشكركم على هذا النشاط اللي بالفعل ينور الطلبه وينور وينور كل اللي يعني اللي مهتمين في إن واللي يحبون انه يطورون في مستقبل مستقبلهم في الامم المتحده راح يحص يعني هم يشوفون الان تجربه عمليه وراح تساعدهم في مستقبلهم شكرا لكم واتمنى لكم مساعده We would once again like to thank Her Excellency Sheikh Haya bin Rashid Al Khalifa, Chairperson of the Board of Trustees of Bahrain Chamber for Dispute Resolution, for her patronage of this conference. Please help us welcome Dr. Sheikh Hamay bin Suleiman Latebe to present a token of our appreciation.
And now, please help me welcome the admin team for Bayman XB for a group picture. Midhas Mirabi, Hussein Ahmed, Sheikh Al Majid, Hamid Mahmoud, Ali Jishi, Zain Al Rayyad, Latifa Fawad Al Khalifa, Al Hassan Jamshir, Fahad Al Mandil, Salman Nasser, Rashid Al Kuwari, Ali Al Maraghi, Khalifa Khalid Al Khalifa, Yusuf Bouchiri, Rawan Al Kohiji, Marwa Thamar, Fatma Abd Al Rasul, Tamim Bouhaji, Faras Al Mudawab, Maryam Al Alawi, Hala Janahi, Amna Engineer, Sharif Al Manai, Dan Al Gattan, Mayam Faqi, and Lina Al Bassam. And with that, I, Hussein Ahmed, Secretary General of the 15th Annual Simon Affiliated Bahrain Bayan School Mod Modern United Nations Conference, am signing off and call this conference out of session.